Hey everyone, it's Monique Renewed. Welcome back to another video. If you want to see how I do these foil nails at home for the cheap, keep on watching. I am going to show you the secret of a long lasting nail set and you can save your money and skip the salon and have your nails done the way you want. I swear people will be asking you, oh, who did your nails? And you get to say, I did it myself. I got this nail stand from Amazon. It just makes it easier when you want to put designs on the nails. You don't necessarily need it, but um, I did have that for use. I used this Savvy Land nail extender glue and this is the secret to keeping your press on nails lasting for weeks when you cure with this your nails will not come off so these are the press on nails that i use they're clear almond shaped nails what i like to do i like to number what nail goes with which finger so i don't have to keep doing that each and every time and keep guessing um, it's just easier for me that way to put it on a sticky note so I know every time. Other materials you would need include foil. I chose this pretty gold foil and some glitter flakes. I chose this pink one and I will be using a pink nail polish. I got these from Amazon. It came in a gel polish kit. So you can buy this separately or if it came with a kit already, that's great. You will also need nail tweezers for application, rhinestone glue, that is UV compatible and a nail dotting tool to pick up the flakes and the glitter. So I'm going to start off by individually patting on some nail glue on each nail. So this technique I'm doing, I'm going to place the designs on the nails first and then apply it to my nail. Rather than applying it to my nail first and then doing the designs, you can do it whichever way that you want. And then I took my color of choice, which is this pink color, and I dotted that radically on each nail. You can do any color that you like. I think black would be cute, white, whatever color that you choose. And these are the flakes. They're kind of like, they kind of give like a 3D effect once you place it on because they stick up a little bit. They don't lay flat all the way. So I just take a few of those flakes and I place them randomly on the nail, but not too many. And then I take the foil and use the dotting tool to kind of dot it everywhere. Sorry that it's out of focus. I was having issues I'm trying to focus my camera, but there you can see it right here. So just choose whatever placement that you like. Um, this is really an abstract random design, so you really can't go wrong or mess this up. It's to your preference. Just a tip, if you put polish on the entire nail, it's going to be really hard to apply it afterwards. Um, I had to learn that the hard way, so I only do this if I'm not putting nail polish on the entire nail I go ahead and do the design first and then cure it under the UV lamp I literally never go to the nail salon because I find them to be really expensive and I could just do a lot of stuff at home myself I am a DIY type of girly I like to do my own hair my own nails my own makeup and I think it's pretty fun actually to do stuff like this and it saves money which is my favorite thing to do <laughs> okay so now that i have all my nails done i'm going to take my top coat and make sure to put a generous amount of top coat on here so that everything lays flat and it won't be sticking up after i applied the top coat i took all the nails and put them on the stand and cured the entire set under a uv lamp here's my dehydrator and nail prep and this will help your set last longer too you don't want the oils from your hands and from your nails to be on your nail bed while you're trying to cure it because that will make it most likely for it to come off so make sure that your prep is immaculate okay so here's my first nail my thumbnail this was kind of difficult to do i'm going to apply that extender gel a generous amount and i took instead of a whole lamp i took this smaller one like this individual nail lamp to cure it um, because you can't apply all the nails at the same time and put it under a lamp they're gonna come off and all these materials I got off of Amazon so I push down and then I cure it and I make sure um, to hold it with my other hand you can't really see it here sorry about that but I hold it down with my other hand and 
make sure that's on there and I do that for each and every nail one at a time and again I emphasize the only reason why I use a nail stand and a individual nail lamp was for demonstration purposes only it is easier to show on camera this way so you can totally just apply the clear press on nails first and then put your whole hand under a regular lamp and then do the designs and this is how it turned out this is honestly like one of my favorite sets for some reason like I just love the almond with the flakes with the glitter flakes it looks so good I think I want to do this again actually <laughs> So yeah, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.